on World Cup Eve. Time for a last night of MLS action before the break. The second of three meetings between Montreal Impact and DC United this season. Experienced defender, he'll talk the others around him through the game and really be that voice to try and command that back four. In front of him sits Hernan Bernadello and Patrice Bernier, both very experienced players who will look to protect that back four. And that frees the attacking midfield three experience. But it's the youngster, Steve Birnbaum, the second overall draft pick this year, who comes in alongside Bobby Boswell. And Ben Olsen has very high hopes that Birnbaum can go on and succeed in MLS. In midfield, it's underway, all in black. These two teams tied 1-1 when they met. It's Franklin, who loves to get forward down the right, the former MLS Cup winner with LA Galaxy. Espindola. Now Davy Arnault. Chris Rolfe, little ball through for Silva, Luis Silva! DC United just six minutes in, cutting straight through the Montreal defence, and Luis Silva has the goal. Well, a poor defensive marking from the Montreal impact, great movement from Luis Silva, just makes a little diagonal run, good patience from Rolfe in midfield to find a spindler and then a very simple run diagonally from Silva in behind. And Wander Lefebvre doesn't get there, doesn't track that run. Side foot finish through the legs of Troy Perkins from Luis Silva. Good composure from Silva. To find the back of the net, just passing the ball past Perkins. Montreal Impact find themselves down 1-0 early on. Going to try and put the shackles on Felipe, stop him influencing the game offensively. Lovely ball from Hassan Camera to find Jack McInerney. Difficult angle, wonderful finish. Jack McInerney gets Montreal back into the game. 12 minutes in. But this was as much about the through ball as it was the finish. It's a wonderful ball. Play back up and through. Camera plays it into the path of McInerney, and that's a clinical finish. It's not hit with a great deal of power, but the precision is absolutely perfect. He just sets himself and then fires it across goal through the legs of the defender. Dykstra in goal. Very little he can do about that. In off the base of the post. Jack McInerney, a fantastic finish for the Montreal Impact. Brings them level one apiece. His fourth goal for Montreal Impact in MLS this season, his fifth in the league in total. Here's Romero in the blue of Montreal. Sue Camera going on the overlap down the right. Andres Romero looking to try and get a shot at goal. In the end, it went off roll, but Romero picks it up. It's Andres Romero. Andres Romero! He took his time, but he picked the spot. And Andres Romero gives Montreal the 2 1 advantage. Now Romero is a man in form, two goals in the last two games, he now has three and three. Great composure in the box, when the ball comes to him, he doesn't panic. He just sets himself, comes inside Franklin, fires Holman in the near post. A classy finish after good work to create the opportunity, the ball comes to him. And then he doesn't panic, Franklin tries in vain to get back, over commits. Romero side foots home, fantastic finish. Puts Montreal up 2 1. Executive League matches for Montreal. Really having his best spell as an impact player. Espindola drills this one in front post, and DC United are back on level terms. Nick Deleon. The impact in front for just a minute. Just sloppy defending again from the Montreal Impact. They don't get pressure on the ball. The ball gets played in into a wide area all kinds of time. Camera's got to close that ball down. Ball gets fired across. No one comes with the run of De Leon who comes in off the line. Spindler driven hard in behind the back four. be Bernier. Oh, so close from Patrice Bernier as Dykstra was scrambling. 
it's so difficult to get the ball over the wall and then down in time for it to get into the back of the net. Bernier just can't quite get it there. Gets the first part right. Over the wall, but doesn't get it under the bar. Dykstra happy to see that one fly over top as he was beaten on the play. Both ends of the pitch. He's excited to see what he can do. Feels he's ready for Major League Soccer. The draft pick this year. Second overall. Silva now. From distance, Luis Silva. His second goal of the game. And DC United in front. Well, the look on Troy Perkins' face says it all. Back four dropping off, not putting any pressure on the ball. The fave getting brushed off it far too easily. Heath Pierce is trying to cut off the pass to a spindle up. But you have to put pressure on Luis Silva. You can't allow him to shoot from the center of the goal, 20, 25 yards out, just before the halftime whistle. Luis Silva hadn't scored since last summer. He already has two tonight and is now in position to add a third. The former Toronto man up against Troy Perkins and Silva scores as DC United take a 4-2 lead heading into halftime. A hat-trick for Luis Silva. Perfect time to score for DC United right before the halftime whistle. Gives them a two-goal cushion. Silva makes no mistake, confidently taken. Side foot home. Perkins dives the other way. It's a well-taken penalty kick. Silva with the outswinger. And then cleared off the line by Felipe. Boswell back towards goal. Felipe again forced into action defensively. And then the referee spotting something here inside the six-yard box. Well, Felipe is not known for his defensive ability, but perfectly placed. This is why you put players on the posts, on corner kicks. Well positioned to deal with that. Perkins beaten. With Felipe perfectly positioned. Side foots away and then heads away. Boswell's attempted cross. Couldn't turn quick enough to get a strike on goal. Ashton Camera got ahead to that one. Falls towards Javale. Penalty for Montreal. Away back in. It's a handball. Well, the corner comes in and it's a big scramble. Ashton Camera does well to keep it alive. The impact don't deal with it. Marco De Vaio just there flicking the ball up. And it strikes the hand. And Davy Arnault just there. Patrice Bernier up against Dijkstra to pull Montreal back in it. And the keeper managed to make the save after it got off the post. He didn't know anything about it. Off the back of Dijkstra, Bernier, who was so good from the spot last season, denied. It's not a great penalty from Patrice Bernier. Hits the post, comes back. Dijkstra knows nothing about it. Time is up. All of the goals in the first half. A Montreal missed penalty in the second half. Louis Silva with a hat-trick. 